Hi friends, welcome to another awesome edition of This, this is, is Epic. Epic! We're so happy to be back with you and today is a very exciting day. Every day we get to do This is Epic is an exciting day. Well, that's true. But today is especially awesome because we're talking about who Jesus is. That's right. In the book of Matthew, Jesus and one of the disciples, Peter, are talking. Jesus asks Peter who he thinks he is. Take a look. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. So what would you say if Jesus asked you that very same question? Hmm, I'm pretty sure I'd tell him he is my everything, that I love him so super much. I would tell him he's my Savior and my Lord. Me too. In fact, talking about Jesus reminds me of a video. Check this out. God's story. Jesus. So part of God's story, actually the biggest part of God's story, is about how he sent us a rescuer. And it goes like this. Way back in the beginning, God created a perfect world and he made it exactly the way he wanted. It was full of good things like oceans and mountains and giraffes and jellyfish. There was no sickness or sadness or death. And he made people, Adam and Eve, to live in his perfect world with him forever. People were God's favorite creation. In fact, he called everything he made good, but he called people very good. Then something awful happened. They disobeyed God. And then that's when all the wrong things in the world began. Now, even though people disobeyed God, he loves us more than anything. So God planned huh? a rescue. One day, he would send his son to rescue his family from all the wrong things in the world. That way, we could be close to God again. God's family was so excited about this rescuer. They waited hundreds and hundreds of years. They thought the rescuer would be a mighty king or maybe a powerful warrior. Imagine their surprise when the rescuer was born as a little baby. It was Jesus. It wasn't what they had expected, but it was exactly what God had planned. Jesus was completely human, but also completely God. That means he was perfect and never did anything wrong. He ate and slept and had friends just like you and me, but he could also do incredible things that only God can do. And when he was all grown up, he was ready to show the whole world that he was God's son. When Jesus was an adult, he started traveling and doing miracles. A miracle is something amazing that can only happen with God's help. And Jesus did lots of miracles. He went to a party and turned water into wine. He fed 5,000 hungry people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. He calmed a raging storm by telling it to stop. He walked on water. He healed people everywhere he went. He made blind people see and paralyzed people walk. He touched the sick and made their diseases disappear. He even brought a dead man back to life. And he told people that he could do all of this because he was the son of God. Jesus didn't just heal people on the outside. He healed them on the inside too. He forgave their sins. That means they didn't have to be punished for their wrong choices. Instead, they could follow Jesus. Some people didn't like what Jesus was doing. They didn't believe he was the son of God. And even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing the sick and making blind people see, they still didn't believe him. They actually yeah, wanted Jesus was... to die. And that's exactly yeah. what happened. Jesus had to suffer and die on a cross, even though he had never done anything wrong. When Jesus died on the cross, God's family was broken hearted. The rescuer was gone. They wondered how they would ever be close to God again. But then, something incredible happened. Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life. He was alive. He is alive. This was God's plan all along. Jesus chose to take the punishment for our sins. He died on the cross so we don't have to. And now anyone can become a part of God's family if we choose to believe that Jesus rescued us. We get to be close to Jesus because he loves us. He loves us when other people don't. He loves us when we feel left out, alone, and hurt. He loves us even when we do wrong things. And this isn't just your ordinary, everyday kind of love. It's the strongest, most powerful, never ending, never changing, always and forever kind of love. And no matter what we do or where we go, he will always be with us. And that's the story of Jesus. 
How incredible is it that Jesus' love for us is the strongest, most powerful, never-ending, never-changing, always-forever kind of love? Yep, and no matter what we do or where we go, he will always be with us. That's right. Always be with us. That kind of reminds me of our memory verse. Yep, me too. Let's get to it. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Let's do it again. This time, say it with us. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41.10 That was so great! I'm pretty sure we even heard you this time. Well, guys, I think that's going to about do it for us today. Yep, so until next week, thank you for joining us for another awesome edition of This, this is, is 